Well, there still is no sign of that man who disappeared last night here in this dangerous area where the bay meets the ocean. Authorities say this case and others over the weekend are reminders of why you should only go in the water when lifeguards are there. He's very, very good man. He's, uh, we have three brothers. He's my younger brother. On the Ocean City Beach near where Jabed Iqbal vanished in the surf, his loved ones praying for a miracle. We are Muslim. We, we believe in Allah. We still believe Allah returned him safely with us. From the air and on the water, authorities continuing to search for the 24 year old who'd been splitting his time between Clementon, New Jersey, and Brooklyn, New York. He disappeared in the Great Egg Harbor Inlet Sunday evening after going into the water to help two struggling family members. They made it out safely. Iqbal did not. The area is unguarded with treacherous currents. It becomes very dangerous very fast, even for a trained professional. Dangerous rip currents in the ocean stirred up by Tropical Storm Fay kept lifeguards and other first responders busy this weekend all along the Jersey Shore. This surveillance video capturing the rescue of two 18 year old women Saturday morning by an Ocean City police officer, three city firefighters, and a surfer. The women brought safely to the beach. Lifeguards were not yet on duty. We can't uh, stress it enough that uh, we want you to swim in front of lifeguards during lifeguarded hours. He just used whatever strength he had left and he pushed me by my shoulders over the next wave. Sierra Williams and Jada Smith say their friend Jalen Alston heroically saved them from the churning surf off a beach in Ventnor Friday evening before the 18 year old from Brooklyn ultimately drowned. His body found the following day. He gave me like a second chance, and I want to use that second chance in the name of him. And I want everybody to know that Jalen Xavier Austin is the reason why I'm standing today. Just makes us want to try hard to make him proud and make whatever his sacrifice was worth every little bit. Meantime, Jabed Iqbal's relatives tell me his brother in law also got into trouble in the water, but he made it out. They say he's now in the hospital, but should be okay. In Ocean City, I'm Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.